Hey there, Brickies, or if you're not a Bricky yet, please consider subscribing down below to become a Bricky today. Okay, so we got a very exciting video, and this is the five worst arcade one-up cabinets. And you know, this is just my opinion. I'm just trying to help you guys decide if you guys have a place for one cabinet, the cabinets to basically avoid, in my opinion. So kicking off the list at number five is the Space Invaders cabinet. And the reason it's not as low is because it's just got phenomenal artwork. And you know, once you if you do mod this to a 60 and one, then that uh, the games don't matter really. But the reason this sits at number five is because Space Invaders is pretty much the only game included. It has Space Invaders color, but that's basically the same game. So you basically only get one game in this. And after a while, Space Invaders, you know, can get a little bit, you know, kind of boring. You know, I still enjoy it, but I could see people not liking the cabinet after a while just because space invaders is a slow paced game it's still a classic but you know it didn't age as well as some other games number four is the original pac-man cabinet this was the walmart exclusive mainly because it just didn't deliver in games it had pac-man and pac-man plus but that wasn't good enough and you know something that i still am you know, mind blown and still wondering why is there's been so many Pac-Man's released since then, and none of them have Miss Pac-Man in them. So why has Miss Pac-Man not appeared on an arcade one-up? And you know, it's crazy to think we're in 2020 now and still no Miss Pac-Man. It leaves me wondering: Are they gonna release a Miss Pac-Man cabinet later on down the road? Number three, I chose to put the Galaga cabinet on here, and that's because. It included Galaga and Galaxian and you know those first runs of those cabinets Galaxian was kind of broken after a while you you couldn't advance through the game you know the game crashed and in my opinion Galaxian just doesn't age well it's your ship first of all is way too big for the screen and you know it's hard to dodge those um, those bullets I know it was a quarter muncher and that's probably why but Compared to Galaga, Galaga blows it out of the water. And, you know, I wish it maybe included Galaga 88 would have been nice. But, you know, it's still at number three for the third worst cabinet. Number two, I chose to put something that may be controversial. It's the Street Fighter 2 cocktail cabinet. And, you know, I just, I'm just wondering why. Why did this cabinet have to come out, you know? It's got a great selection of titles, and I wish this would come to a traditional arcade one-up cabinet, but unfortunately, those games like Dark Stalkers and, you know, all those Street Fighters are stuck on the cocktail version, and, you know, the main reason is the viewing angle of the cabinet. I It's just not fun to play on, you know. First off, when you're playing head-to-head, -head, the screen is so tiny, it becomes like a nine inch screen and even single player it's still nine inch so if single player allowed you to take up the full screen then maybe this wouldn't be on here but you know the viewing angles not very good for street fighter the small screen isn't very good so that's why i'm putting street fighter 2 the cocktail version on this list so taking the cake at number one well technically the worst cabinet is the asteroids cabinet and you know, it's got some great games, some classics, Asteroids, Tempest, Major Havoc, Luna Rander. And the reason this is number one is because of the dial right here, the spinner. Um, had it had this spinner right here, which is Glenn's Retro Shell Spinner, it would be a different story or even the updated spinner. Instead, it came with this spinner right here, which just did not work. And, you know, it wasn't even a spinner at all. It was... I don't even know how to describe it, but it it had a lot of clicks and you know since then they did update this spinner but that's a thirty dollars on the arcade one up website and I'm not sure how it performs so if you guys have that spinner let me know in the comments below. But this is a spinner I went with. It's fifty phenomenal. And you know my favorite game on this cabinet is Major Havoc, so that's the reason it's sitting at number one it's because the spinner that it came with factory out of the box was terrible and the games were pretty much unplayable hope you guys enjoyed this video 
this again was just my opinion and if you guys enjoy these cabinets that is totally fine this is just my opinion on the five worst cabinets so let me know in the comments below what you guys think are your five worst arcade one-up cabinets and hopefully this helped you if you're trying to decide on an arcade one up in 2020. On that note, I'm just gonna say it one more time. If you are not a Bricky yet, please consider subscribing. It's gonna be right here. There's gonna be another video right here. And I just thank you guys so much for all the support and just for watching this video. It just means the world to me. And remember, until next time, see you next time.